Hey guys, so it's been a long time, uh, A, since I've made a video, B, since I've made a Rock and Replies video. Rock and Replies is a series where I show you a band I've been listening to, and then I answer your questions that you've sent to me on all the social medias. Um, and yeah, it proves to be a lot of fun. Today's band is a band from Norway, and they are called Valerie. This is their CD that they sent to me. Uh, it's just self-titled. And look at the guys there, just chilling out, looking all rock starry. And let's open the CD up. Oh, look at that! Look at the disc. It's all like it's really like okay. This is this is really nicely done. It's nicely packaged together. There's a song called "When Two Hearts Collide," and it's just got this like happy, cheesy vibe about it. And I mean cheesy in a good way because I like cheesy music. So for my 30 second sing along, I'm going to do "When Two Hearts Collide." of When Two Hearts Collide by Valerie. They're from Norway and thank you so much for sending me your CD and a t-shirt. So if you like the sound of those guys, I will leave links to their stuff below and I will leave information as to how you can send me your music and possibly make it onto Rock and Replies. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the questions. Let's shed the Valerie and go to another band that starts with V. Van Halen, yeah. So I thought an interesting topic for this video would be the fact that uh, I was just in Ireland for two and a half months. I spent a week in LA and a week in Lebanon as well. Um, and if you've been following me on my vlog channel, you will have followed my journey. Uh, but for those of you who didn't, I thought you guys could ask me questions about my trip and I would answer them. And there's lots of dust and fluff and it's going up my nose, so please excuse me. Candace Stack TNE wants to know, did you develop a slight Irish accent while in Ireland? Ah, sure, you know yourself. I don't know if that was good. Dan, I'm sure that you can <laughs> pull me up on all my mistakes. Uh, I think the most fun I had uh, accent-wise is every time I said something in my Australian accent, Dan would repeat it and be like, no, home. Uh, and then I would repeat him after he'd say stuff like shark, 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 at loan. Uh, that, that's the best I can do. XX Tiana O wants to know any funny memories from my trip. In the apartment block that uh, Dan lives in, across from him, um, across from his bedroom window and lounge room windows, there is an, uh, an elderly lady who liked to spy on everything we were doing. But uh, I think one of the funniest things was uh, finding out that uh, she was walking around her house naked. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was, no, that's not funny. That's creepy. Little Miss Sin wants to know, where was your favorite place you visited while in Ireland? Ireland. I would have to say Athlone. Athlone, Athlone. Such a cute little town. And uh, I have like personal attachment to it because of the memories that Dan and I have there. One of my last nights in Ireland, uh, we were gonna go visit Dan's family and I thought that we were staying with Dan's lovely mum, but, sorry, Daniel. <laughs> and we got there and Dan told me that we were meeting his mum in the hotel lobby of the Sheraton, There's like a bar there. So he sat me down at the bar and he said he was gonna go to the bathroom. Um, when he came back, he said that his mum was actually at the upstairs bar and that we needed to go upstairs. And when we were going upstairs, like I was like, oh wow, this is gorgeous, but why are we up here? We shouldn't be up here, this is wrong. We're not supposed to be here. And then I was getting worried that we're in the wrong place. And as we approached like this guest tower area, Dan whipped out two uh, hotel keys and surprised me and we were staying at the gorgeous hotel and with an amazing like freaking view oh it was amazing like ceiling to floor windows and it went like all around the room <sighs> you could just see like a big panorama of the whole town and it was beautiful so that's probably my favorite place that I visited there 
because of the beautiful memories and yeah. Orla wants to know, what did you miss about Australia when you were in Ireland, besides the weather? Uh, I definitely miss my family. I think that was the most, like, on the top of my list of things that I missed were my family. I did miss my bed because my bed is, like, the most comfortable thing in the world. And I think there's something about having your own pillow that you have your head, like, dint already worked in there. Oh, and my car. I missed having my car because my car is my sense of freedom and it just means I can go outside and get in my car and get to where I need to go immediately and I had to get used to um, catching public transport and walking and <laughs> I'm just too lazy so I just like to get you know from A to B. Gabby wants to know what was the most disgusting food you tried and what was the most delicious? The most delicious food was definitely the Irish stew because I have this big thing about stew and I just love it. Most disgusting food I tried I <laughs> I'm really sorry, but battered sausage, just unnecessary. <laughs> the lovely Claire Cullen, AKA Clissaire, let me try some of her battered sausage. And I know that sounds wrong, but it's like this sausage dipped in batter and, and deep fried. Kind of like eating a hot dog, but the bun has gone really, really stale and shriveled. <laughs> Apparently it's better if you soak it in vinegar. Krishan wants to know what was the most unusual thing I saw in any of the places that I went. Weirdest thing I saw in Ireland, in Dublin specifically, was along Grafton Street. There are lots of buskers, and one of the buskers is like, I'm assuming a, a person hunched over inside like a rubbish bag, which is covered in streamers and just has this like random yappy beak and squeaks as people walk past. And I don't understand how that generates, you know, donations or whatever. Like, it's just a little yappy pile of trash. I don't get it and it was very annoying and I passed it so frequently and every single time it never ceased to freak me out. Hannah wants to know what's been the best part of traveling? What do you miss the most? Um, I miss Dan the most. Dan was, Dan was the best part about traveling as well. <laughs> Getting to see him finally. <sighs> Lauren wants to know what was your initial reaction when you first saw your mister? <laughs> I just remember seeing how amazing his eyes were the f that's the first thing I saw but then I also was so like nervous that I couldn't look at him in the eyes long enough like I would just look at him and then look away and giggle I was so shy but like it was just like it was so emotional and nerve-wracking um, I was just happy to finally meet him uh, and uh, just like I was so excited but I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I could barely like I just I just giggled a lot and look at me, I'm playing with my hair. This is my like, oh my god, I was so nervous. <laughs> this is probably what I did a lot, playing with my hair. Um but yeah, no, that's my my initial reaction was just like A wow, B finally, and like See, oh my god, your eyes, I can't look at you, I'm too nervous. Becky wants to know how emotional was it to leave Ireland and are you going to go back soon? It was the most emotional thing I think I've ever been through. Um, I bawled my eyes out like a little baby. I cried from, you know, I cried for like a week or two weeks leading up to knowing that I was going because it was just such a sad thought to be leaving Dan behind. And then uh, I cried in the cab all the way to the airport. And then I cried at the airport and I cried on the plane. And I cried on the second plane <laughs> and I cried when I got home. Like I just, oh, ooh, oh, I still feel it. I just don't, I've, I've gotten better at not crying, but I had a, yeah, no. And will I go back soon? I hope so. Emma wants to know what is the best thing Ireland and or Lebanon and or USA has that Australia does not. Okay, so these chocolate chip cookies by Foxes. Foxes Chunky Chocolate Chip Cookies. They are the best cookies I've ever had in my life and if anyone wants to send them to me, feel free because oh my god, they're the best, like Foxes Chunky Chocolate Chip Cookies and then there's like one with like triple choc. <gasps> Emily wants to know which of your piercings are real and which are fake. I, I kind of scoffed at this question and then I realized that I kind of do have a fake piercing. Um, my real piercings are my belly button ring, my nose ring, my ears. I have one, two, three, four, five in this ear and I have 
one, two, three, four on this year, and the fake one is this little cuff up here, which is just a cuff, and it just comes off. I just want to make it clear that I don't try and like, you know, pass it off that this is a real piercing. Um, but yeah, that's that's the fake one. <laughs> Okay, Laura wants to know when did your dad move away and why? Um, I guess I should address this now because I haven't really addressed it and it happened like two years ago. Even though this is, you know, my personal life and I don't really have to share this stuff with you, I do mention that my dad is in Lebanon. I'm just going to put it simply, parents split up two years ago, dad moved back home, uh, we moved away from our original home and that is the story. Uh, I'm glad to have cleared that up. Anyway, so on that awkward note, I'm going to end the Q&A. I know that some of you will probably ask me where I got choker makeup, any part of my outfit. You head over to my beauty channel and I'm putting up a tutorial on this makeup look, so you'll find out all about this lipstick, which I'm sure you'll ask about. Um, and I also did a whole video, so you'll find out where this bad boy is from. Anyway, if you've got any questions for me, please either pop them below or ask me on Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, keep an eye out for when I am fishing for your questions. Uh, and I will see you next time, I guess. Bye-bye! Ah!